Hello and welcome. Today we've got this 12 amp red lithium ion high output battery that's got, as it says on the top, disco lights. So this won't charge, won't power a tool, won't even put on the LED light, even though it's showing a very chargeable 18.3 volts. If you have a battery that's showing this sort of scenario and is between 17 and 20 volts you got to go inside and see what's going on ready to remove the screws as you can see the same there um, and we need to go along the banks of cells to see if there's any cells lower than the rest or any that are defective to check defective cells you got to go like this you got to go um, from one side to the other you know I've covered this lots of times on my channel, but sure we'll do it again. 3.67, I'll go from plus to minus so it doesn't confuse you. 3.67 roughly. 3.67, 3.68. All good sales so far. It looks like this pack is very well balanced. And all good sales. We do need to check one thing, however, before we go much further. We need to get it out of the pack and make sure there's no broken connections down the side. So there's four screws in the bottom you've got to remove. You get these with a good old T8, you know. Check those little connections along the side to make sure there's none of them lifting off. Make sure those spot welds haven't let go. Sometimes that can be causing the flashing light. I'm sure those two main tabs at the top are connected and these here at the side as well. All looks good there. So we'll check this other side. It's looking all good like there's no um there's no disconnect there anywhere. So what's wrong with this? Or what do we do? Quite simple. We have a pack that's well balanced. We have a pack that's got no broken connections. The only thing we can do is replace the board. I just put on a pair of gloves like I have and put these screws into this magnetic tray here so they do not get lost. And again, we need to get a sharp screwdriver and pop off these two spot welds at the end. Should be easy to do. Just get underneath it and pry it off. Then, remove the two screws that are holding on the board. One here. Again, fairly tight. Next step, we have to desolder these four points here, and then the board should just lift straight off.
There we are, that's it off now. What you want to do at this point is maybe buff these two ends and clean up these tops and straighten them just so that they can be easily reattached to the uh, the new board. That slight bit of prep done, we can fit the board now and all should be good.
throw it right in the charger now. So it looks very much like this is going to take a full charge. What do we see how far we've got? Coming up to three bars already charging away. Yep, perfect. And uh, if we try it on a tool, I'm calling that fixed. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos. New videos every week.